There is a um, good view of the uh, engineering crosshair overlay of uh, the data coming from the Progress vehicle as it closes in for a link up to the International Space Station. Uh, currently, uh, the uh, Progress is about four and a half kilometers away from the International Space Station uh, and the link up. External truss cameras on the station now also picking up a view of uh, the Progress vehicle that you see there. Just uh, five and a half hours ago, it was on the launch pad in Baikonur. Now it's uh, completing uh, its final approach uh, for a link up uh, that will uh, result in two Progress vehicles being at the International Space Station. The range is 700 and uh, the range rate is 700. A good view of the International Space Station from the external television camera on the Progress as uh, Progress and the International Space Station now just uh, 600 meters apart from one another uh, flying over the South Pacific moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. You can see on the right side of the progress uh, that uh, what appears to be a flashing light is uh, actually a, a radio beacon uh, that uh, relays uh, information back and forth to uh, the comparable system on the Zvezda service module to help compute updated navigational information for the progress and the Corps' automated rendezvous system during this period of uh, the fly around and final approach. This high definition view from the uh, high definition external viewer camera on the International Space Station showing a spectacular view of the progress as uh, it approaches the west coast of South America at an altitude of 252 statute miles. Okay, yes, it has. At the uh, time of contact and capture to the aft port of the Zvezda service module that you see almost in the middle of the crosshairs in this engineering external camera view from the progress itself, uh, the uh, rate of closure will be about one-tenth of a meter per second. So the range is 118 meters, uh, 0 0.6 uh, is range rate. Copy, Alec. Copy. Good view of the docking target. Four meters, is the range. Four meters to go as we stand by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Copy, Alec. Three meters. We have a little bit of roll. Copy, Alec. Two meters is the range. Copy, two meters. One meter, we're standing by for the contact. Copy, one meter. Standing by for the contact. Contact, contact confirmed. Indicator mode. All right, we can see this as well, Alec. Capture confirmed. Docking confirmed at 5.52 p.m. Central Time. As progress in the International Space Station flew 252 statute miles over the North Atlantic, six hours and three minutes from launch to docking for the newest resupply craft now having arrived at the International Space Station.